Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. You may all recall the pipe dream from Animusic done way back in 2004, and of course that was animation. How about bringing it to life? Well, Intel and our next guest are doing just that. Russ joins us from Sisu. Sisu Devices. Tell me, tell me, Russ, about how from uh, concept to right here doing the job at the IDF, you have made this work. Well, you know what? I remember seeing this video for the first time in uh, kind of a random email. Somebody sent it to me and said it had been done by the uh, University of Iowa. Somebody had actually built it, and of course it was all a scam. Uh, but I remember when I saw it all these years ago, back in 2004, I thought, what if somebody actually built that one day? And we uh, had the opportunity to do that, uh, thanks, to, thanks to Intel. So we uh, kind of farmed the idea around and talked to them about it. Uh, they loved the idea, and it started out as a kind of a smaller demo, and it's, it's grown to what you see here, a 12 foot by 12 foot. Um, I like to call it a masterpiece, but uh, I, I hope it is. And, and yeah, we built it, and uh, the concept went around for a couple of weeks, and then we did some design and started building a lot of prototyping, first of all, to, to see how things would fly, and, and then put it together and got it done in, in three months. Tell our audience what is actually happening. We've got some looks like uh, white chocolate malted milk balls, almost, uh, that are flying all around your masterpiece and creating music. Right, yeah, they look like uh, chocolate milk balls, but I wouldn't eat them. They're actually reusable paintballs, so they're kind of a foam rubber ball. And in the, in the video, what happens is these balls shoot out of nozzles that are carried by pipes, and they hit drums, and they'll hit vibraphone and chimes, bells, a uh, little track we have in the back, and it makes music. And so we've, we've replicated all of that, every individual note. There's 2,300 unique notes, and we have these reusable paintballs that fly out and, and hit every one of them. So as a ball, for example, hits the bass drum, we play a bass drum sound. So we're not playing just a soundtrack and watching something spectacular. We're actually playing an individual note each time a ball hits. The controller times it so that we shoot the ball out. Of course, it shoots the ball just a little bit before, and then when the ball makes contact with, the, uh, with whatever it is, the track or the drum, then yeah, we play the, that note through the speakers. And the secret behind this, of course, Intel processors. Tell me about them, how many, what's uh, putting, making all this happen to make this music. Yeah, sure, Intel was, Intel was great. We've actually used seven Intel Atom processors in here, and they each have their own individual job. And what's amazing about them is that they'll integrate and play very well together. So we have, uh, we have an Intel Atom in the industrial touch panel, which controls, which uh, basically gets things started. We have industrial Atom doing real-time control on the motors, as well as the LEDs and the nozzles that, that shoot the balls. There's, a, there's an Atom in a smart camera, as well as digital signage. We have a 52-inch display, 32-inch multi-touch display, and then um, I'm losing count here, but I think we've got one more in a, uh, that synthesizes each individual sound. From three months to here, this whole thing has certainly been a labor of love for you guys. Uh, what was the most challenging thing to put this together? Oh, that's a good question. It, it, it was a labor of love, and it's quite an extraordinary project. Certainly the best one I think I've had the, the opportunity to work on. Um, just the random nature of, uh, you know, in the, in the virtual world, everything can be made to work very well, but when you bring stuff into real life and you've got, you've got dust and you've got all the little uh, imperfections and things that make things, you know, a little paintball not fly exactly where you want it to. We had a, a lot of it put together fairly early on, but it just takes, takes a lot of tweaking, a lot of tuning to get it right. Russ, thanks. Great job, and no doubt you're getting a lot of appropriate attention here at IDF. Well, thank you very much.